And now shifting gears to the agriculture sector, there is no reprieve yet for sugar farmers after Agriculture Cabinet Secretary Mwangi Kiunjuri say that the government will first audit farmers who are owed money before any payment is made. Cabinet Secretary Kiunjuri say this is aimed at avoiding the challenges witnessed during the payment of May suppliers to the National Cereals and Produce Board. He was speaking during an official inauguration of 17 member sugar industry task force which is expected to revitalize the sector that has been rocked with challenges the framework to pay sugarcane farmers their 2.6 billion arrears will be a thorough one after agriculture cabinet secretary Mwangi Kunjuri said an audit must be done before any payment is done so as to avoid suckers witness in the maize payment in the national cereals and produce board we want to establish whether these farmers also owes uh, factories money. So that is already going on. We sent letters uh, last week. The committee is already constituted and I expect them to be on the ground on Monday as I tour those areas. But I would also request through you, uh, the cabinet secretary in charge of agriculture, that we embark on a program to start paying farmers so that uh, uh, we do not wait for the task force. As you are doing the same for the maize farmers, you do the same for the sugarcane farmers. CS Kenjuri was speaking during the inauguration of Sugar Industry Task Force. The 17-member team, co-chaired by CS Kenjuri and Kamega Governor Weekly for Paranya, will have 30 days to submit its report once it is gazetted by the Attorney General Paul Kihara. Those on the task force include Governor Kodobado from Migori County and his counterpart from Kisumu, Anyang Nyongo, who will be representing Council of Governors. Ms. Jen Rosso Mondi will be representing Privatization Commission and Bernard Otieno representing the public mills. It was the desire of the president, I think, when he came to Kakamega and heard the outcry of the sugar farmers in the sugar belt that by Christmas this year, this matter should be resolved. And we have had several meetings with the millers and with the representatives of the farmers. So we actually know where the problem is. On Mashudah Day celebration, President Uri Kenyatta had directed that a task force be formed to salvage the ailing sugar industry that has been facing a myriad of challenges ranging from excess importation of sugar, low sugarcane supply and high debt portfolio in public mills. Whether or not state-owned millers should be prioritized will be one of the issues the task force will embark on. Kenya is racing against time to privatize its publicly-owned sugar factories ahead of the expiry of an agreement that protects the country from cheap imports from Comesa. They devolved the industry. And uh, those are issues that we want to agree, with, even with the governor. And uh, sometimes you have to agree. Some, and we are agreeing where the government must come in, the national government, to save the industry. The governors are flexible. Kenya's sugar sector is nearly crippled by huge debts, poor production, mismanagement, corruption, and non payment of farmers. The government hopes the task force will offer practical solutions and give recommendations of lasting solution to address the problem ailing the sugar sector. Aaron Moenge, KUTV.